This brief tutorial will walk you through how to add a new field to your Foundation Connect process in Salesforce. First, you need to choose the object that you would like to add the field to. For example, is it a field that you wish to show up on your letter of inquiry, a request, or a grantee report? Once you've determined which object to add the new field to, click on the tab for that object. In this demonstration, we will add the new field to the request object. From the request homepage, simply click on the small right arrow on the right hand side of the screen. This is called the quick access menu and allows you to quickly navigate to the different areas of an object. If you hover over the View Fields link, you will see a green plus sign with the word New next to it. Clicking on this will immediately begin the new Custom Field Setup Wizard. Choose the data type for your field. There are many to choose from, but for this tutorial we will select a standard text field. Click Next. The field label is the name of the field. We will call this field Organization Mission. You will notice that your field label will automatically be copied into the field name with underscores replacing any spaces or special characters. This field name is an internal Salesforce field name and will not display to an end user. Next, we have to indicate a length for this text field. For a standard text field, you can include a length of up to 255 characters. Let's make this new field the full 255 characters. Next, enter a brief description of the field. This description is internal only and will just help other administrators to understand the purpose behind creating this field. For example, added the organization mission field to our request process per staff meeting on 10-1-2012. Next, the help text field allows you to enter text that would help an end user determine what they are supposed to enter in this field. For example, please enter your organization's mission statement no more than 255 characters. The bottom section of this form contains some advanced options that we won't be covering in today's tutorial. We are going to leave the section blank and click Next. You will be presented with a list of the profiles that you currently have in your system. Profiles are what control a person's access to objects and fields throughout the system. If it's okay that everyone in your organization can see and edit this new field, you can leave all of the boxes in the visible column checked. If there are any profiles that you wish to restrict from viewing this field, simply uncheck the box in the visible column. Note that if you wish for this field to be visible on the portal, you need to ensure that the profile called FC Portal User has the visible box checked. If it is a field that an applicant on the portal needs to see but should not make edits to, Simply check the Read Only box in addition to the Visible box. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we want the portal user to be able to make edits, so I will uncheck the Read Only box. Then we'll click Next. This screen asks you if you'd like to add this field to all of the page layouts that currently exist for this object. A best practice is to remove the checkbox from all of the page layouts. The reason being is that if you select this option and save the field, Salesforce automatically places the field on the page layout for you, usually in the very top section of the page, which is most likely not where you want it. Unchecking these boxes allows you to go into each page layout individually and place the field in exactly the place where you want it to go. Finally, click Save.
your new field has now been added to Salesforce. Now we need to add the field we just created to the appropriate page layouts. Page layouts are simply the arrangement of fields that a user will see when looking at a certain record. For this example, we will be updating a request page layout. Since we are already in the app setup area, we can simply scroll down to the page layouts link and click on it. The list of your organization's existing page layouts will display. In most cases, foundations will have at least one internal page layout and one portal page layout, but you may have more depending on the different types of requests that you have. If you wish for the field to show up on all requests, you would need to go into each page layout and add the field to each one. Let's add the field to a portal page layout. Click the edit link next to the page layout name that you wish to update. Scroll down to the area on the page layout where you wish to place the new field. We'll place the new field at the top of the Proposal Details section. From the Configuration window, you can type in the name of the field to find it in the list of available fields. Then simply drag and drop the new field onto the page layout and click Save. Repeat this process for any additional page layouts where you wish for this field to appear. The final step in the process is to confirm how the field looks on the portal and ensure that it is where you want it to be. Click on the Home tab. From the Custom Links section in the left sidebar, click on the Clear Cache link to refresh the portal configuration. Click on the Clear Cache button, and once the cache has been cleared successfully, you can then go back to your left sidebar. Then you can click on the shortcut link to the request that you just updated. In this instance, we updated the invited full application. You may have to log into the portal if you weren't already logged in. But once you are logged into the portal and you are viewing the request, scroll down to the area on the page layout where you added the new field. We added our new field to the top of the Proposal Details section. So verify that the field is appearing where you placed it. You can always go back into the Page Layout Configuration area and move the fields around if you prefer a different placement. And please note that if your organization has already been moved to production, your updates will not be reflected on the portal until the 4 a.m. refresh that is done each day by Empower but you can continue to use your test URL links to preview the changes before they become live on the production portal. This concludes our training on adding a new field to a request. The same process would apply to any other object in the system, such as an inquiry or a grantee report. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.sputnikmoment.com and be sure to like us on Facebook. Thank you and have a great day.